Hi guys, are you interested in growing slime molds like this? Or maybe do experiments kind of like these ones? Well, if you want to and you don't know how to grow it or where to get it or how does it even work? Is it difficult, expensive? Well, a few people have asked me this before and so I decided to make a dedicated video to just make a, a quick and easy guide to do it yourself, to enter this slime mold um, growing experience. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you have to do to grow some physarum is to actually get it somewhere. Um, here I have in this bag some, some material. Let's see here. So some material uh, you can see here it's in the dry form. So this is called a sclerotium. And uh, the sclerotium is the almost hibernating state of the slime mold. So it's almost like a, a frozen state of the slime mold. Uh, it loses all of its moisture or most of it. And it creates almost like a, like a resisting body that uh, doesn't have... That the metabolism is pretty much stopped uh, in time. And with, with this, you can store it somewhere like in a paper bag, um, almost indefinitely, at, at least you can keep it for way more than a year just like this and it will be fine. You can find it in many places, you can try to look for it on eBay, Etsy, um, you can try to ask for somebody who already has it and share it with you, um, you can go to forums, maybe Facebook, Instagram, somewhere, of course depending on your region, if you're from the US or from Europe or you know, whatever. Uh, maybe the sources will be uh, quite different. So yeah, this is the most important part to get. Okay, so now you got your slime mold, you're excited to get it going, but where do you put it? Where, where do you start growing it? Well, the most basic and probably the most readily available for you to start with is to just get a little plastic container like this with some white paper. This is pretty much the most basic and easiest housing to make. Um, it's just water, paper and a container. Uh, of course I'm not I don't have a lid here but having a lid is quite nice to keep the moisture in but just keep the paper wet and he'll be fine. So just going over the basic advantages and disadvantages of the paper method. So this is just a kitchen towel, paper towel. Um, it's cheap. You can probably do it right now with what you have at home. Simple, fast, you can't really go wrong. There's also another uh, advantage which is um, if you want to dry out your slime mold to preserve it, but I'll go into, into that later in the video, so uh, I'll mention that uh, afterwards. But yeah, that's pretty much it. A cheap and easy way to grow it from the get-go. So as soon as you get it, you can just do this. The, the biggest disadvantage of this is could also be an advantage depending on what you, you want to do. But the fact that it's like paper uh, and you have to keep it moist all the time, it doesn't store a lot of water, which means that it can dry out pretty fast in like one or two days at room temperature. So if you're careless or maybe forget to add water or something, you could easily dry out and um, yeah, you might stop growing your slime mold. So that's a disadvantage, but it could also be an advantage. Again, I'll mention this later in the video. So besides the paper method, you can also use agar. So agar is a, made, is a material made from uh, agarose, uh, which comes from algae, it's a natural occurring um, compound and it's really useful to make uh, gelatin like structures with water so you see it's just like a petri dish with some agar it's wet but solid, it's like gelatin uh, however it's vegan so the advantages of this is since it's transparent or almost transparent you can see without the lid 
it's a lot easier easier to see your slime mold go growing so it's easier to see it's more fun uh, it's prettier in my opinion so you have that another big advantage is that since this is like a water gel it takes a lot longer to dry out like if you keep it closed it's gonna take weeks to dry out so you can basically forget about it and the slime mold won't have the drying out problem that you get with paper so if I leave this for two or three days in room temperature this will be dry uh, this not really so that's also a bigger advantage it has less maintenance um, which is good for the slime mold and also for you but yeah the disadvantages is that you have to buy it so it is a bit expensive but not too expensive I wouldn't say it's too expensive uh, especially because with you know the vegan movement and all the different vegan products um, like I said this is safe to use it's completely edible um, for example this that I have here it's a um, it's a vegan gelatin replacement so maybe if you want to find it in your grocery store look for it in the vegan supplements or vegan you know ingredients you can also find it on Amazon you have different products from expensive to less expensive uh, but yeah if you want to maybe make some experiments and film it I would recommend getting some agar plates okay so now you've woken up your slime mold it's already growing and moving around um, what do you feed it well it's quite easy and cheap to feed it and also part of the fun they live in forests so you can imagine that they just eat whatever comes in in their way mostly bacteria and other microorganisms uh, but in cultivation the most basic starter food for it uh, it's a cheap and very readily available anywhere pretty much which is oats so this is just a container where I store my oats um, yeah just basic oats you can buy them in the supermarket they're just bland oaks no additives no nothing just crushed grain and you can just wet it before feeding it just add a little drop of liquid on top and uh, yeah the slime mold will eat it and also eat the, the grain and and they will also feed off of the bacteria that grow on it um, but yeah again this is the basic I would use this just to grow it they can grow and do all their life with just this and it's and they like it pretty much so it's a good um, way of feeding it but again you can have fun with it you can feed it rice you can feed it uh, try potatoes um, just try different fruits it's also part of the fun of the experiment um, yeah you can try to feed it uh, anything you want I just I would recommend not to feed it like for example meat uh, or very salty things they don't really like salt so for example probably french fries they won't really like just with the quantity of salt in it meat the same way so yeah that's what I would do so now you've followed all of the instructions your slime mold is growing it's eating it's a lot bigger than when you got it and you got something more or less like this you see here I'm growing some slime mold in paper and you can see some oats yeah and um, you might be thinking okay I've had my fun but I think for now I want to stop for a little bit I don't want to play with it right now or I have to go on vacation and I can't really take care of it so what should I do well it's actually quite easy this is another advantage of the paper like I mentioned beforehand paper dries out very fast so you have this paper uh, the slime mold growing in this paper uh, you can just leave it so I would just put it in a dark spot just leave it and he will uh, eventually dry out as the paper you know evaporates it will dry out form another sclerotia you can see when it forms a sclerotia when it goes from yellow you see how right now it has like a yellow color when it turns from yellow to like an orange a dark orange like dark yellow orange color that's when you know it has from a sclerodium and you just let it dry out until it's bone dry once it is bone dry you 
went back to the, to the start of the video, which is you have a scorodium, you can just put it in a drawer, put it in you know a container. I usually store mine in paper bags because it keeps them dry. And yeah, that's it. You can now cut, even cut it into smaller pieces. You can start them again with the little pieces and keep some as backups in case something goes wrong. Or you can even share it with friends or other people. So yeah, that's pretty much the basic guide. So that's pretty much it for, for the video. I hope it wasn't too long or too complicated. It's really very simple to grow it. Uh, just have to follow a few little guidelines and that's pretty much it. Of course you can do a lot more with this slime mold. You can also sporulate it, which basically means to make it reproduce uh, sexually, producing spores. And then with these spores you can actually you know, produce new individuals, new clones. But for that, it is quite a bit more complicated um, in terms of how to do it and also time-wise. So I will probably make a complete video on how to do it and with all the life stages. So yeah, just be patient with that. But yeah, this is the video to just get started and you know have an overview of what you can do and how to keep it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching the video and... I'll see you in the next one.